Hi friends, so in the last sessions we saw the concept of similarity and what is meant by similarity of polygons. Now in the rest of the, the series we'll focus only on similar triangles, you know, so one of the polygons triangles, right? And what is meant by similar triangles and how do we establish what are the criteria of similarity? How do we establish those criteria and are there any rules and uh, uh, laws related to that? Are there theorems related to that? We'll study all of them one by one. Now, let us start with the concept of similar triangles. So, let us say we have two triangles given. Okay, let us say this is A, B, C and another triangle is D, E, F. Okay, so D, E, F and we say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. Now, mind you again, I am the, the, the order of these uh, vertices, the way you write is very, very critical. You cannot change the order. You must see the correspondence is true. So, A is equal to B, D, B is equal to E and C is equal to F. Okay. The order will change only when the corresponding angles change. For example, if let us say A was equal to E, then obviously you would have written triangle ABC is trying is similar to triangle E first. Why? Because A is corresponding to E and let us say B was corresponding to D. Let us say B was corresponding to D. So you'll then write D and let us say C was then equal to F like that. So order is very important. Order determines which two vertices angles are same. So A is equal to E in this case, B is equal to D and C is equal to F. If this was not the case and this was the case, then you would have, write, you would have written triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Now many a times what happens is people get uh, trapped because of the, you know, uh, uh, the, the diagram. So the diagram may be deceptive. So only criteria to establish or when you are doing uh, sums, please make sure that the corresponding angles must be same and it must be written in the same order. Okay. Coming to the conditions for similarity of triangles. So what are the criteria? Criteria is the same what we studied in the last session. Criteria for similarity of triangles. Okay. There are two criteria. One is corresponding corresponding angles must be equal and second criteria is corresponding sides must be proportional must be proportional proportional but thankfully in case of triangles, you don't need to establish both of them. For any other polygon, you need to establish one and two both. But for triangles, if you establish any one of them, the other one is automatically established. So if you establish any one of these, either one or two, then the triangles are similar. What do I mean? Let us say if again there are two triangles, A, B, C and another one is D E F right so either either we need to prove or establish one what angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F this is one or any of the combination corresponding angles must be same or you establish two what is it A B by D E is equal to BC by EF is equal to CA by FD. Correct? If you establish this by this is equal to this by this is equal to this by that, then the triangles are similar. That is what is similarity of triangles. So you don't need to establish both of them. Only one is good enough. And later on you will see even you know by the properties of triangle you don't need to actually check for all three angles as well if one two of them two of the corresponding angles are equal then third has to be equal automatically by angle some property which you have learned previously right so even you know these these uh, conditions could be reduced a little further we'll see all of these criteria in the uh, sessions uh, which are following but right now this in this session we now understood 
what are the criteria for similarity of triangles there are two corresponding angles must be equal corresponding sides must be proportional but in case of only triangles and not any other polygon even if we establish any one of them that if one of them is established the other one is automatically taken care of so let's begin our discussion on the theorems related to similarity in the succeeding sessions